Hey, it's a new background. Look, look, it's it's different. It's different. So we're all here at a conference, and the hotel where everyone else in our team was staying was booked. So Donna had to put Bradley and me in a different hotel. Weird. I would have thought that she would have booked us all in the same place so that we could all go conferencing together. And when we got here, they put us in adjacent hotel rooms with the door between them and the door doesn't lock which seems like a bad hotel safety decision because for all I know the person on the other side of that door could be a serial killer and it's Bradley so it still might be wait sorry habit nope friend mode activated anyway so there was champagne and a bouquet of roses in this room. This must be a really fancy conference. But it was weird because the champagne was in my room, but the flutes were in Bradley's room. This hotel has very odd service. Donna said she was really sorry that she had to split us between hotels, so to make up for it, she's gonna take us all on a really fancy dinner. Yay! Okay, so that dinner was a bit weird. So Donna got food poisoning, and Lauren had to take a conference call. So Donna just gave us the company credit card and sent us off to dinner. And when we sat down, Claudia said that the lighting might trigger a migraine, so she and Hugo went to go sit at the bar, but then there weren't enough seats at the bar for all of us, so then Bradley and I had to sit at a table. Which, I mean, was kind of nice. It's easier to go into friend mode when I don't have to worry about Claudia demanding why I'm being so nice all of a sudden. But Bradley and I have started talking again, and he seems a little bit quieter, but yeah, we had a reasonable conversation about the conference. Now, some people tell you that they will go to conferences because of all of the useful information and the workshops and the networking, and no. They are either lying or naive. The real reason you go to conferences is for the swag. I haven't been to a conference in a long time, but because Lauren's team is so mobile, Bradley's actually been to several in the past year, and he's gotten to know some of the vendors pretty well. Today we went to the expo, and Bradley showed me all the great swag he got. I only found normal pens, but he found pens with both conductive tips and flashlights. And I asked him how he managed to get all the good swag. Um, I feel like I need a mustache for this. Travel mustache! <laughs> Thing. Why did I fold this so badly? Excellent, excellent spirit mustache. You can't waste time on the candy or the magnets in the first three rows. Those are for noobs. You have to case the joint to find where all the good stuff is. And then you have to be fast because all the good stuff goes fast. I do have too many magnets now. I guess I'm just a young soul in this very strange world making every possible mistake. I think you might have skipped a couple lyrics there. Does that even count then? Hey, I'm trying to be nice and defer to your superior flashlight pen locating skills, so just take it and move on. You call that being nice? I can be nicer than that. So then we had a progressively more aggressive niceness competition? Bradley insisted on leaving the last piece of chocolate souffle for me, which we didn't even order by the way, just kind of showed up, and then I made him walk through the door that I opened for him, and then he made me wait in the car for him to go around and then open my door, which was really weird considering that I drove. And then we argued for like five minutes before getting on the elevator. After you? No, after you. Wow, we are exactly seven years old, but it is actually really nice to talk to him again. So remember the company that was working on the Jenga shortbread cancer drug? Well, they were at the conference. Back when they offered me a job, I basically said, no thanks, but maybe later, because I need to focus on getting Aragon into a good and steady place, you know, with Joan, who's the former head of the photocopier, coming onto the board, and then also making sure that Claudia and Hugo are in good places professionally before I do anything else. And besides, I love Donna, and she needs my help, so I can't even think about leaving right now. I mean, I didn't tell them all of that, but apparently they think that now is later. So they all swarmed around me and drowned me in free flash drives and tried to ask me about how happy I was at Aragon. And I think that Bradley could see that I was uncomfortable because he came up and he said, I miss my travel mustache. I threw it away at the hotel because I didn't think I would need it again, but obviously I do. Sad. 
There you are! That talk you wanted to see, I don't- I'm sorry that his voice is changing so much, I don't know what Bradley's voice even sounds like anymore. There you are! That talk you wanted to see starts in five minutes and we have to get all the way across the convention center. Hurry up! So I quickly told the people that I would be in touch and that, so sorry, but I need to leave right now, and then I ran away with Bradley. I don't mean like we ran away like together, I mean, I mean like we went to the next, to the talk. Um, we didn't elope. I'm moving on now. And then, as we were escaping the expo hall, I saw Bradley looking over at the Viagra table, and at first I thought this was work-related, but then I saw that they had stuffed cats with Viagra t-shirts. Okay, a uh, bit of background on Bradley. He is obsessed with cats. He always has been. And in college, his dorm room walls were covered in pictures of his cat. To be fair, his cat was adorable, and I probably would have done the same thing. But anyway, he seems to have dialed down on his cat obsession. After all, his desk only has one tiny picture of his cat. Now he comes across as a tad eccentric, rather than as a crazy cat man! Which he is, by the way. So later on, as the expo was winding down, I ran over to the Viagra table to get a stuffed cat. I want to clarify, when I say stuffed cat, I mean like stuffed animal that is a cat, not like a, a cat that was alive and has now been stuffed. Probably obvious, just want to make sure. And then when we got back to the hotel to pack, I said, Oh no! I got this Viagra cat, but I don't think it's gonna fit into my bag. Ugh, Bradley, do you want it? You did that on purpose. What are you talking about? I'm just a really inefficient packer. Fine, you win. You're nicer than me. That sounded like a robot. No, my mustache! Hear that, internet? I am officially nicer than Bradley. I am calling this stage of Operation Besties with Bradley a success.